hey y'all welcome back to my channel so by the title of this video i wanted to do a enzoy reshade video where basically i give y'all a walkthrough of how to download reshade g shade it's the same process but specifically i'm using reshade for your game to make it look like this or just to make it look better if you think you don't really see a difference as much let me turn it off so you can tell you definitely need reshade i personally feel like everyone needs reshade so let me turn my preset back on so before i actually show y'all how to get your game to look somewhat like this let me show y'all my favorite reshade preset so far i don't have that many this is actually a sims preset and all i did was customize it to my liking so if you were to download this by it doesn't need to say the name but it's called moon ivings mercury preset if you were to download this it's not going to look like this you have to play with it that's how most presets are my all-time favorite was this crystal caliber one now this one is in the actual reshade settings kind of sort of i think it's in the g-shade category so this one if you download reshade properly it should pop up um i like this one i just recently downloaded this one and i like this one like i actually do like this one this is cute for gameplay wise i think i like this one or kind of sort of yeah i kind of like this is very subtle but it's still cute this is also in the reshade setting so y'all should be able to find this one as well if y'all like this this one i think is in the reshade settings as well i don't really like this as much i don't know why it has this like line what is that oh, okay i found it so fixed it because i don't know what that little yeah this one is also in the reshade settings and this one i got from sims as you see it says network sims i'm assuming that's what's by i don't really like this one as much if you want your game to look pinkish then i could recommend this i don't want my whole game to be pink i mean it's okay like i said so far this is my favorite do not mind my slanted stanley cup let me show y'all how to download reshade for your enzoy game first and foremost if you're downloading reshade or doing anything in reshade please close out of your game i do not want y'all to blame me if y'all game start messing up or if it crashes or if you corrupt something because you left your game open while trying to download reshade so please close your game after you close your enzoy game you're going to want to download the application reshade i'm gonna leave the link in the description so y'all could just click that download it i'm just gonna go ahead and open it up because i already have it downloaded so once you have reshade open if you do not see enzoy on here you're going to have to find the game manually fingers crossed y'all do not have to do that but if you do this is the process in order to find your enzoy game so you're gonna go to browse you're gonna go to this pc local disk program files x86 do not click the regular one click x86 you're gonna go to steam you're gonna go to steam apps you're gonna go to common and then it says enzoy and this is the application so you would click this basically click open so if you do not see it right here that's the path that you want to take in order to find your game so once you click next you're going to make sure your game is on microsoft direct x 10 slash 11 slash 12 none of these other ones matter if you have these other ones checked more than likely your reshade is not going to register meaning you didn't download it right so make sure it's this second one it should already be checked but just in case sometimes it's not so you click next it's going to say for me it says update for y'all it's going to say install or uninstall i don't know i think it's just going to say install though if you have never done this for your insulate game so you're going to click install and then it's going to show all of the reshade presets those are the default presets that reshade gives you make sure you check all of those meaning they're going to put all of those in your reshade little menu so that way you have the option to use all those different ones if you leave those unchecked and then you go in your menu in game trying to find presets you're going to wonder why you don't have any presets because you didn't check those presets to load in your game now following that path that i just said if you want to upload custom presets in your game you're gonna do the same thing so i'm gonna go through that process again so you're gonna go to this pc local disk program files x86 steam steam apps common enzoy and you're gonna go to blue client and then you're gonna go to binaries win 64 then you're going to go to reshade presets and then these are all of the default presets that i told y'all to make sure you check 
so they put them in your game and then you're gonna go to custom and then all of the presets you download or maybe your favorite ones you can just copy and paste them here and yeah so that way when you open your game back up you're going to see a bar at the top that says reshade and it's going to be loading if you do not see that bar when you open your Insula game, that also means you didn't download it properly. I believe the key to open the menu is home. Depending on your keyboard, you might have to press FN home or you might have to press alt home. It'll tell you at the top. It's gonna tell you open menu and then it's gonna be, you know, the keys or whatever. And here we are. This is how your game kind of sort of should look. Well, depending on your preset, obviously. So hopefully this video helped y'all. I know I can't play in Zoe like this. I don't know about y'all, but it's too bland. So I just had to download Reshade, I'm sorry. Like I said, the Reshade link will be in the description for the ones that you don't wanna have to Google and find it and stuff, I got y'all. Hopefully this video was helpful. I will try to leave maybe a couple links in the description of people that I went to to download their Sims presets so y'all can use them. Like I said, you still have to customize them to your liking, but hopefully that can help. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video.